Okay? 18 matches going so far. 16 coaches. We've had some questions. But what do you make of their impact so far? Uh, well, I think I, I must say that I've been impressed with a coach like Seki Akuno. Because having the, you know, the guts to go in for a job like Ash Gold, look at where they, they were. He felt that he can get them out of the relegation bottom. And then he came in, you know, bought a few players when the transfer window was open. Players he has worked with before the George Joe was there. Abeko Innocent, and he's done pretty well getting some huge, huge points away at places that, you know, the previous Ash God we knew wouldn't have gotten them in, you know, in Wa, in, in, in Takwati and APAC, you know, that is a very huge, huge resource. And I am very sure that if things continue to be this way, Ash God will surely survive. And then I'll, I'll say I've also been impressed with uh, class Rasmussen, you know, when you have a coach or a team that is stopping the Ghana Premier League impressive away performance in, in Bichim. They managed to get a win there. They went to Omina Sharks. They got a win. They went to the League Champions, the Malaysia West Stadium. They got a win there. So I'm not surprised from the way they've played this season. They are top of the league. Then they stand a chance of, you know, winning the league. Nutal too came in, you know, he didn't have pre season with a crowd of folks who he managed to use a few of the a few games to get his players together and now they are playing the way you know he wants them to play though there's a lack of consistency in in the team and uh, one coach i can you know forget to talk about him that's great olympics in new all happening and got in a trump issues and stuff like that i've already said that earlier on if you compare a trump to the other 14 coaches other 15 coaches in the ghana premier league he is nowhere near them. And then I think it was a very good decision. Great Olympics have to, you know, bring in Tom Strand for them to, you know, uh, get them out of where they, they were. And then he came in, he managed a draw in Brekum. He, the bitter crowd, uh, Kumasi Santi Kotoko, convincingly, they, they got a point at the car end of back in and so on. So I think it's also done very, very well. If Olympics had started a season with Tom Strand, I believe they wouldn't be where they are now. Which coach has disappointed you much? Disappointed me much. I won't, I won't talk about the disappointment, but I think that the way Kumasi Asante Kotoko have handled their coaching issues, their technical issues, you know, getting rid of coach Lugaro Sech, bringing in few points so at a point, you know, at the uh, across Ball Stadium was asked, what is wrong with Kotoko? He said he doesn't even know what is wrong with Kotoko. And then they were in a very good position when Lugaro Sech was sacked. And you ask yourself that has there been improvement? They are not even scoring. They are, they are not they are not playing very well like the Kumasi Asante Kotoko we knew. And if you look at their summer transfer, they brought in players that we thought could beef up their squad and then allow them to play the very good football that we expected them to, to play. So I, I, if you have coaches that are down the, the league log, you talk about them being disappointing. But I think that I would say the Kumasi Asante Kotoko handling of you know, their technical team structure has been very, very disappointing. But personally, I would say I miss coach Bashir Rayford. He's your friend. You have a couple of quotes about, about him. You know, Bashir Rayford will always give you the news after, after league games. So I think I'm missing his you know, presence in the league because of his controversial quote and, and stuff. But he, at a point, he got fed up and he wrote that lovely resignation gone letter. But gone, but not forgotten. So uh, that is what I can say about the Ghana Premier League coaches. Which coach has impressed you? Impressed me, impressed me. Uh, I would say class Rasmussen because what because of what Wafa is doing this season. They are playing very, very well. We know Wafa will always be strong at home, but one thing that he has put into the boys is the way they play away and the way they prepare for games. If they have a game that is far away from Sugakofe, they make sure that they go there very early, get used to the environment and where they will play. And then when you go to the Wafa, Sports Stadium in Sogakofe, they have a pitch that looks like some of the pitches that we have in the Ghana Premier League. Some of the pitches that will, they will be playing looks like what they will play on when they go away. They are training on that. So I think I'm, I'm impressed with what, what he has done. And I wasn't surprised when he was named coach for, I think it was in uh, April, yeah. coach of the, of the month. So 
think he's been very, very good. And which, yes. coach, which coach do you want to win the coach of the season? The coach of the season should should be the coach who wins the league because the Ghana Premier League is a very tough league. And for you to get a team up there and to win it, you deserve the coach of the, of the season. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, Michael Lassell to Liberty, Tom Strand replacing Gordon Atom at Olympus to Folak, Kumasi Asante Kotoko. They had Bashir Ford resigning from Ashgold. Your impression about the coaches after 18 games in the Ghana Premier League so far? Well, I haven't followed these coaches closely, um, apart from Steve Pollock, who um, I would say I've not had the opportunity of following him for the past two, three seasons. But Michael Osei, I've followed him since he was with David, uh, Didi Dramani to David Duncan. He won the MTN FA Cup, even in the absence of Didi Dramani. He won the Galka First Trust Top 4, even when we had, uh, it was Top 6 rather. When, we, uh, when David Duncan had gone to Libya with a second string of Kumasa Santi Kotoko. So for him, the records are there to show that he was always going to do wonders with Liberty Professionals. When he took over, he came to Accra House of Oak and got a point, a side that defeated them 3-0 in the first round of the Ghana Premier League. So I wasn't taken aback that he was able to record, uh, get a draw there. This is a House of Oak side he was able to beat with Santi Kotoko last season. CK Akuno moving to Ashgold was always going to be very tough. Though uh, he, he never started on the note that many spectators would have liked, uh, loved him to do. But um, at last, his final seems to be getting the results. His first victory came against War All Stars in the first round of the Ghana Premier League. He went away there and got a point. He went to Midiama and he won. Very impressive. We all know Tom Strand. He's very, very good uh, CV from Bethune United to Mediama. This is a man who was always, always able to pull his strings together and get his team working for him. He won the MTN FA Cup final against Asante Kotoko in 2015. Tom Strand always coming in for someone like Godwin Trump was always going to be a plus, but looking at the playing body of Great Olympics, there were people of the opinion that Great Olympics never had the quality people thought they had. That was why they were not performing under uh, Godwin Trump. But Godwin Trump, many people will say that, uh, Langaba will say anti Parke kind of a coach. He, he, he's, he's not up there. They're like you were saying, if we have the first 16 coaches, you are just going to relegate uh, Godwin Trump to the bottom of that table. So for him, he was just, he did well by qualifying them to the Premier League, but the Premier League is different from Division One. Klaus from Hussein at Wafa, impressive. He has recorded three away victories. These are numbers Wafa never recorded when they came to the Premier League. Their best were, were always draws. But taking over from John Killer, he's been able to exercise that ghost that never saw them win matches away from home. And this season, they've been able to grind results even away from home, hammering wild all-stars, defending champions of the Ghana Premier League 4-1 at the Malik Jabri Stadium in the first round of the Ghana Premier League. It was even an understanding game. Impressive. We've seen um, coaches like uh, Edward New Odom. People have not accorded Tamayut uh, respect they deserve, but Edward New Odom has been impressive. He's been able to grind out results even away from home. He's just been so, so meek that every defeat he blames it on officials. But I think he's doing wonders with Tema Youth. You've mentioned know, some coaches, but of all the coaches you've mentioned, who would you say has impressed you the most after 18 matches? Well, after 18 matches, I just have to look at the top of the table and to the bottom. And I'll choose Klaus Roth Musin. Like I was saying earlier, Wafa were not a side that could win games away from home. We all knew they were always going to hammer on opposition that comes to their, uh, to the uh, uh, Wafa Stadium in Sokakope. But this season, they are getting results away from home. They won in Bechim, they won in Wa, they won in Almina. It is something they never had. And the away record, they still have it. They've now gone about 38 games and beaten at home. 
the credit will always be given to Klaus Ramosi. I think he's, he's impressed me so far. Your take on what Frank Kuntal is doing with Akara as a folk. Earlier on, he has said that he's not playing. The ultimate aim is not to win the, mm -hmm. the, the, the league. But do you think that from the way you know, he has managed his team, do you think Akara as a folk with Tenutal stand a chance of you know, getting, to the, to, you know, getting to the summit of the league log and eventually winning the, the league? It will all depend on consistency. If as a folk are able to get their actual right, if he's just like he said, he's not playing to win the Ghana Premier League. The thing is that he's taking away pressure from the boys. He just wants to tell them, we have got the quality to finish up there, but let's play as a team. People will not give the credit that they can win the Ghana Premier League. And that pressure will definitely be taken away from them. So they will fight on the pitch and people will begin to believe that Hasefuk have got the quality to win it. But as we speak, Frank Newtal, what he has to do is that he has to be consistent with his results. When you win away from home, come back at home and win. When you win at home, make sure you get results away from home. If you win only your home matches and you're not able to grind results away from home, you're not going to get the target you're looking for. Finishing among the top four teams is possible. Well, let's see. Top four at the end of the season. I, I always wish to see Kotoko out there, but unfortunately... <laughs> no, 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 I will not put Steve Pollock out there. But I will go for Klaus. I will go for Yusuf Abubakar. I will go for Frank Newtal. And just maybe, just maybe, I want to bring in Carlos Alberto of Beckham United. Just maybe. Thank you. Thank you.